So, a while ago I uploaded a video detailing my synopsis for how I would have adapted Super Rescue for Thomas and Friends, and it went over really well. In fact, it's my most viewed video, and it basically doubled my subscriber count at the time, which is just incredible. At the end of the video, I said that I would like to do more stories and ask for some suggestions, one of which was for Cab Over Wheels. Special thanks to Trainboy30 Sydney McKay for suggesting this video. Much appreciated. If you guys have any other video ideas you'd like to see me do, then feel free to let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and let's get started. So, the story takes place in one of Christopher Audrey's earlier books, simply titled Wilbert the Forest Engine. Wilbert is a preserved saddle tank that works on the Dean Forest Heritage Railway and comes to Solar to help out with the excessive workload. Fun fact, Wilbur is one of the few real life engines to appear in the series, and was actually named after Wilbur Audrey himself. During his stay, he works in multiple locations, including the Little Western and Thomas's branch line. On one of his first days, he tells Thomas and Toby a story about another saddle tank known simply by his number, 16. 16 used to work at a steelworks, delivering trucks full of slag to a place known as the Tip. Wanting to go past the danger sign, 16 constructs a plan one wet day and achieves his goal, but he ends up falling cab over wheels and gets sent back to his shed in disgrace. According to Wilbert, he did in fact get repaired and preserved and now works on a heritage railway in the Midlands. Wilbert claims that 16 got better than he deserved, rather dark. The story has a very down the mine and Percy takes the plunge feel to it, a fun story and probably the most memorable one in the book itself. Ironic considering it's not even about the book's main character. So, in my previous video, I said that I would want to adapt Super Rescue for the model series of Thomas, and the same holds true for this story. However, much like last time, there is a rather obvious problem. The characters of interest, i.e. 16 and Wilbert, do not exist in the model series. Now while they could have easily been implemented into the CGI series, that answer is just too obvious. So we're going to have to find some stand-ins, or in this case, one. You see, there is a fan theory that suggests that Wilbur and 16 are actually the same engine, and Wilbur simply changed the details of his story to avoid telling Thomas and Toby that he was actually 16. He even said that 16 was preserved and now works on a heritage railway, much like himself. Whether or not this theory is actually true doesn't really matter, but it does give me an idea for who we could use. And that character is Stepney. You see, much like Wilbert, Stepney is a preserved engine that also works on a heritage line. In the TV series case, it's Sodor's own Bluebell Railway. You see, something else Wilbert and Stepney have in common is they have both mentioned how short their line is. Everyone's been so kind, but my railway is so short and I do miss a good long run. His line in the Forest of Dean was short and he was delighted for the chance to exercise his wheels. So how could this work? Well, in Season 5, it appears that the Fat Controller purchased Stepney from his former manager off-screen. He later starts running a loop line in Season 6. However, before his promotion, he was known to occasionally leave the Bluebell line and help out around Sodor, such as when he helped Mavis and Toby at the Farquhar Quarry. This gave me the idea that we could adapt Cab Over Wheels and potentially the whole book for early Season 6, before Edward teaches Stepney to run the new loop line. As for the details of Cab Over Wheels itself, I would simply have Stepney tell the story as a flashback to his pre sodor days on the mainland. However, in order to align with his reimagined background in the TV series, I would say that instead of simply being sent to his shed in disgrace after the incident, Stepney instead gets sent to the scrapyard, where he later gets found by Rusty. Stepney has always been a keen and hard worker whenever he has been seen in the show, and so maybe we could say that his incident at the tip, and subsequently being sent for and later say from scrap, is what gave him this new respectable attitude of his. You see, 16 was always defiant, so if we were to add this trait to Stepney's background, it would flesh his character out some more. Now you could also use this story to flesh out other engines, but Stepney is a fan favourite that people have really wanted to see more of, since we didn't really see him, besides a minor cameo in season 12, where he doesn't even speak. Now I know my synopsis here isn't perfect, and I'm sure that you guys will have your own ideas for how this story, and even the whole book could have been adapted. And if you do, then I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. 
As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, as it was a ton of fun to work on. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring Toby's bell if you did enjoy and want to see more content like this in the future. And until next time, I've been Sinners and Ashes UK, you've been awesome, and have a great day. Bye!